Hello and welcome to Kedrick Farms. We are back with another episode of Oklahoma. This is our cotton farm and we have just finished up picking cotton on this big field here. And so we're gonna go ahead and get this cotton picker moved over to our other field and start it off with a worker as fast as possible because we've got a lot of cotton picking to get through today. And uh, this job is a lot slower than I anticipated it being, which is not necessarily a bad thing, but we are going to be here for quite some time to get all of this cotton picked. I think we'll go ahead and just start on this end of the field and work our way out. This will leave us uh, with a clear path to get back and forth to where we've got our module packer set up here on the edge of the field. And so just like that, our worker is off to the races here. We're going to run back over here and grab our buggy here and see if we can go ahead and get it topped off. I think we're sitting at about 41% here. The cotton picker wasn't quite full in this field when we emptied him out. So we'll want to get one more of these buggies filled up with cotton and I think that'll be just the right amount of cotton to fill up our module packer over here. We're gonna get over here and check that out here real quick. We did dump into it here uh, already so we've got some cotton in there and so now we want to actually run that and see how the cotton packing function works here. So in order to do that we're gonna hop in our 4240 here get it all fired up and then I believe if we turn on the baler here you're gonna see this thing kind of go through the motions of uh, packing down all of this cotton so that as we continue to fill this up it's going to just sit here and push the cotton down turning that into a well-packed module it looks like we're already at uh, a bit over 50% here and so that's good it means that we will fill up here on the way back down and allow us to dump the cotton out of our cotton picker here into the buggy I'm guessing we're gonna get just over three modules total off of this field which should sell for a pretty decent amount here when we get into the high point of the selling season so let's go ahead and let this guy work his way down towards the end of the field there and we'll run up and get this buggy going and see if we can catch up with him at the end of the field there. That way he's not sitting there waiting to unload for too long. The name of the game today is efficiency. We want to keep this cotton picker moving as much as possible. Now he is, should be full any second now by my estimation, but it looks like he might just... Uh, make it to the end and not need to stop so we're going to go ahead and stop that worker though we want to definitely unload him before he pulls back into the next set of rows with one percent capacity and realistically we've got a little bit more capacity in the buggy here but we'll probably just run it up to the packer and dump what we've got here while the cotton picker fills up there's no sense sitting around for longer than we need to there's not a whole lot else going on here so i'm guessing we'll kind of have a repeat scenario here where we're getting to this end again every time and we're just about filled up so we'll have to keep an eye on it here a little bit we might do something where we stop him and unload him a little bit earlier so that he'll automatically stop on his own i'd hate for the cotton picker to actually manage to make that u-turn and then we have to do a lot of um, shuffling around with the equipment always a bit of a pain here in farm sim so we've got just shy of a ton coming into here right now we're not quite gonna fill this thing up with what we're putting into here but it's gonna be close the next load that we get out of the cotton picker here will definitely fill this up and we'll be able to make our second module of cotton I think my plan is going to be to catch the cotton picker here on the way back down before he's uh, completely full just to kind of offset where he's going to need to be unloaded in the subsequent rounds 
and that's going to give us just enough material here to finish off packing this cotton so that we can do all of the necessary steps to get that machine moved up here while the cotton picker does another round. And so let's go ahead and jump in here so that we can stop this, uh, stop this machine at the appropriate point to unload. And we're going to stop right here. We should be just close enough to dump into here. Perfect. We line that up absolutely perfectly. One thing I've noticed is that the combine unloads quite a bit faster than the buggy does here. Um, I'm not sure why that would be. I would absolutely think that the buggy would unload at at least the same speed, if not faster, than the combine. I do realize we've got two loads of cotton in there typically oh it looks like he's gonna try and unload here which is completely unnecessary that's uh the unfortunate side effect of the farm sim uh combine unloading mechanics i'm sure there's not really much of a way to get around that however we do have enough cotton now to top off this module so let's get this dumped into here real quick and see how this goes there we go so we've got that all topped off i'm gonna pull this thing right up here out of the way and we're gonna jump into our 4240 here again and i believe at this stage we can't actually uh run the baler again I think normally I would give it one more packing attempt here after we had it all filled up, but that doesn't seem to be a possibility, so we are going to do the bale unload mechanics here, and I should be able to just drive straight forward here, like so. And we're going to just put that third module again right here in a line behind this one. Get them all nice and evenly spaced out. Should make our lives easy when we want to come back in here and load them up with the semi-truck. Uh, we've got plenty of room behind it here to maneuver and get in here. And so I think this thing we're going to need up on the other end of the field. So we're going to go ahead and drive this up here such that as our cotton picker starts heading back down the uh, row here towards the other end of the field we'll be ready to catch that unload all right our plan is working out exactly as desired we were able to catch this cotton picker on his way back down which is perfect timing for us we should be able to now just jump right on over here and unload into the module packer again this is working out really well. We're going to be able to knock this field out, I think, quite a bit quicker than the other one. It is a little bit smaller of a field, uh, but it's also that much more efficient uh, being able to unload everything right here on the edge of this field. I think in future harvests, we may actually not try to set everything up in the same spot, but rather bring this over to the edge of the field we're actually working on. Especially as we expand the size of our farm, if we pick up additional fields, we're going to want to uh, not have to drive this thing all the way back to our farm. Uh, honestly, I don't know how much driving you would want to do with a bunch of loose cotton in the uh, open top of this, and so I'm thinking this whole setup is designed to have the cotton modules built right there on the edge of your field. I will say that it's pretty handy that we're needing to unload the cotton picker here approximately once per round. It makes our lives a lot easier as we're trying to keep up with this harvest. We're coming up on halfway done with this field and so I'm definitely excited this is going a little bit faster than I anticipated. So rather than wait for a full container here as long as we're waiting for the cotton picker to make progress anyway we're going to continue to run this up to our module packer and just keep moving with the equipment i think the next thing that we've got to figure out here on the farm is how we're going to get this winter weed in we don't yet have a cedar 
So we're probably going to have to find something to lease just to get that field done. Unfortunately, we don't have a spare tractor to get set up and start running that cedar. And so we're not going to be able to... Um, and so we're not going to be able to start seeding until we're done with our cotton picking here. Uh, because we do need to keep this tractor here on the buggy. And our 4240 is running the baler. Since we are so close to done and this field seems to be going much quicker than our previous field, we will probably just uh, wait here until we're done with harvest and then run out and see if we can find something to lease. Uh, I know the dealers got a few different pieces of equipment that they've mentioned are they'll be that they've mentioned they are willing to lease out to us, and so we'll jump in a truck and head into town and take a look at that once we're all done with our harvest. All right, we are done with our last field of cotton, our second field of cotton, and I'm excited. I think this is going to top off this bale. We might have a little bit left over. We're going to find out here in just a second. I know it's going to be close. We don't quite have a full buggy here, but we also were dumping off into this thing at different intervals here. So I'm going to go ahead and jump over here. Uh, it's not, I'm trying to remember if it's three tons full. So we're going to have just a little bit left over. And so I'm actually, I'm not sure what that's going to mean. Uh, can we have a non-complete module uh, with this mod? Or am I going to be stuck with, you know, a quarter of a ton of cotton that I can't use? That's going to be interesting. Can't wait to figure this out in just a second. We've got, oh, it's all going in there. It's all going in there. Maybe these, uh, maybe these are four tons, not three tons. And I was mistaken. So I guess we're still going to find out. I have to assume that we can have partial modules, though. Otherwise, uh, with how big they are, you'd run into a lot of problems. So let's jump in here and take a look. We've got 3.3 tons here, not quite a full module. We are going to turn our cotton packer on here and see if we can get this module compressed down there's some issues with the animation in this mod and so sometimes it just stops like this and doesn't finish animating which is unfortunate so we're gonna go ahead and turn that off we're gonna see if there's a way to unload this I'm not seeing a way to unload this bale right now um, we probably don't need the baler running the cotton packer there um, I assume this was going to work like a bale where I could dump it out, but I'm not seeing the option to push Y to open that door right now. If I fold the baler up, I also don't think that's the appropriate option because that just puts us into road transport mode. So if we unfold it again, I still have no ability to push Y to open this. If we turn the baler on, that just starts our animation with the packer, which is kind of broke anyway. Oh, that's really disappointing. We don't have any ability. <clears throat> we don't have any ability to get this cotton module out of the packer here. That seems really odd. Let's just jump out here for a second. We're gonna make sure I didn't accidentally uh, disconnect things. It looks like everything's still hooked up correctly, and I still have no Y to unload on this uh, module packer, so that's really unfortunate. Um, I guess we don't need to sell it right now, but it would kind of be nice uh, to get this out of here. And so if uh, you happen to know if there's a way to unload this thing, if you've used this mod before, drop a comment below uh, and help me figure this out. We've got a, an episode or two at least before we get into uh, needing to sell these, but I was really hoping to put this equipment away and get everything switched over to seating. However, with that, I think we're gonna wrap up today's episode. Next time, we're going to dive into, I believe, planting some winter wheat here. 
and seeing how that all plays out in these fields we might have to figure out what to do with all of this cotton stubble as well but uh that's all for today Kedrick out this was part of a time lapse sequence and i'm really upset i couldn't use it because i smashed right into the cotton picker all right our plan is working out exactly as we whoa we went right past it